Ahoy there, my name is Beth and this is the story of how I renovated my 1904 Dutch sailing barge. This week, what's it really like to live on board a boat while you renovate it? Let's find out. <laughs> Morning. Go on then. One of the good things about living here is there is a shower block where I can have a shower in the morning because I don't have one. So that's where we're on our way to now.
so it's a little bit like a campsite but at least I stay clean I have to admit I'm really looking forward to getting my own shower though But he's ready to go out for his walk. Do you want to go for a trot? But he always runs off when it's time for his walk. Why are you, why are you wandering off? Stay there. Stay there. That's it. Are you ready? Oh, that's a good job. There we go. Can I see him? Hello. Hello. Hello, little one. Hello. <laughs> Sorry. That's the local uh, local dog walkers chatting group. Um, met some of Bertie's friends down there.
I need to go and find something from the aft cabin. So uh, do you want to have a look in there now? It's a bit of a mess. Are you sure? Okay. So I'm actually in the aft cabin now and if I, I've not shown you this before because um, it's it's been full of junk and it still is actually. So if I spin you around you can see all of the the junk that's inside here but also you can see that the um, the cabin's actually quite nicely boarded out. So it's in quite good shape and if I hold you over that way you can just about see out of one of the aft portholes. Um, they're not, um, they're not perfect. They're not perfect portholes. Um, they're just kind of pieces of wood that are actually the wrong shape. They're, the piece of wood are like arch windows, like the aft windows. Um, but the, um, the actual portholes themselves, or at least the apertures in the back of the stern and the transom, if you like. I don't know if Dutch barges have transoms, but, um, We'll call it that anyway. Um, but the yeah the the portals themselves are kind of oval, and um, the uh, the windows on the inside are just held in place by little toggles. So um, I think that would be a good a good thing to replace in time. When I first um, first got the boat, um, they were actually off and uh, the the cabin was unused. Um, so uh, so I put them back on again so it just kind of at least it closed it to the weather even though there's no rain and stuff gets in but um, but yeah so um so yeah so this is the uh, this is the cabin I'm actually not sitting on the bunk if you like there is there is a, a kind of little shelf just down here which has tons of boxes on it at the moment um so if I was sitting there I would be able to just uh, you know my, my head wouldn't touch the ceiling um, so, um, so yeah, so I think actually I'm going to leave this cabin as it is, uh, but I'm going to <laughs> remove the junk. I mean, this junk is stuff that's going to go on the boat. It's just all crockery and, uh, and pans and things like that, things that will go back into the galley. Um, so, uh, so yeah, I like to leave this, uh, as a, as a little cabin as it is. But, um, but at the moment, what I need to do is I need to dig through boxes and find a nutcracker. So that's, uh, that's my job today. <laughs> I did find this uh, with the boat, uh, and this is the um, the wind direction indicator, the tail for the top of the uh, the top of the mast. And that's really lovely. I'd seen other barges with them on, and I really loved them. And I thought, oh, I don't know where to get those. I was searching on the internet. I couldn't find any. But let me know if you know where to get these from. Um, but then I found one in the aft cabin, so so that's lovely. And um, also, while we're talking flags, this. Um, this is my uh, father's blue ensign, uh, defaced blue ensign, and um, this is one. Obviously, it looks brand new because this is the one that he didn't really use very much. He, uh, he used it for um, for good occasions. He has another one that my brother actually has. My brother has it framed in his house, and that one is the one that's uh, that's ran at sea, and um, and it's uh, it's hardly blue anymore. It's just a very light colour, and it's uh, threadbare. It's um, it's a beautiful thing, though. It's um, as flags get older, they um, they kind of take on that charm. But you can see it's um, it's a hand stitched one, and it's stitched so the colours are through. It's not printed or anything like that. So it's um, yeah, it's a beautiful one. So um, obviously I can't fly this, um, but uh, but I did think um, I did think on his birthday um, I would. Uh, I would do something special, but um, yeah, maybe as a courtesy flag or something like that, I might might hoist that on his birthday. But um, but yeah, and also I, I should do a video of um, of my uh, my kind of um, past experience sailing. Um, my uh, my father was a very keen sailor, and my, my mother as well, and um, and we sailed all of our lives. But um, but sadly, um, a couple of years ago, they both died very suddenly, uh, very close together. Um, so, um, so, you know, we, my brother and I have these kind of things to remind us of, uh, of our parents and, uh, yeah, but, um, story for another time because it's still, still there, plucks at the heartstrings. Anyway, I'm not getting the nutcracker found, am I? <laughs> let's, let's find that.
sitting on a gas bottle. And they're not designed to be sat on, I don't think. Oh. Right, okay, shall we get out? <laughs> Come on then. Ooh, I'll show you this first. This um this is one of my dad's old oil cans. I've got another one and I'll show you that one when I when I find it. Uh, but this is the uh this is one that um that he used for years. So um so uh yeah my dad um, my dad had a big garage. He was a mechanical engineer and uh, and he had a big garage full of stuff. And um from an early age he taught me and my brother how to repair things, how to um to look after engines and um, and obviously we had we had cars when we were young and um, the stipulation with having a car is that I, we needed to look after it ourselves. Um, and obviously the big jobs we took it into a garage but you need to do, you need, we, we were taught how to check the oil and um, check the tension on the timing belts and all this kind of stuff because you know my dad uh, felt that was important and uh, and while at the time we were probably thinking oh I just want to go to the cinema, um, now all of those skills are, are kind of, um, are sort of part of uh, part of our um our psyche if you like but anyway a sidetrack he he got sidetracked as well but this is one of his oil um oil cans uh it's a little um little trigger i'll not uh, i'll not press it in case any oil shoots out but um yeah this is uh, what he used is uh you know put his heavy oil in and it's a beautiful thing and uh and i asked my brother if i could take it because i have a diesel engine to look after and uh, and he agreed so i'm very proud of that Right, let's get out. I'm stopping sidetracked. It's this. It, this is the equivalent of a loft, I think, uh, which is why I'm getting sidetracked. Um, anyway, right, let's get out. Right, I think that's enough work for one day. So, um, pub, pub.
So I don't know if you can hear the sound of the rain, but it's um, pouring down outside. So it's lovely and cosy down below. So just time to read my book for a little while. Um, so I'm reading Swallows and Amazons. And um, yeah, and then get some sleep. And Bertie's tired and uh, yeah, it's been a busy day. So uh, we'll say goodnight now. And um, But I hope you've enjoyed your day with us. Um, and we'll see you next time. Night-night. <laughs>